Hello everyone, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today on Skillet Sundays, we're actually going to be working with a cast iron Dutch oven. Uh, we're going to be doing a dump cake. Um, this has been a family recipe and something that we've always enjoyed growing up. Um, we usually use cherry pie filling. Uh, this time we're going to try strawberry. Um, and so just to go through the ingredients, all you really need is a yellow or butter cake crushed pineapples, a can of pie filling, and then some melted butter. You can do this over a campfire and it, you do it for the same amount of time where you can put it in the oven on 350. Uh, given the fact that it's raining today, we're going to do it in the oven. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. While the oven preheats, we'll go ahead and start getting our ingredients together. So first I'm going to start here with the can of strawberry pie filling and I'm going to go ahead and get it poured into here. So one thing that I like to do with this recipe is I actually add another can of pie filling so I use two cans. Um, it kind of just depends what ratio you're really wanting. Do you want more fruit to cake or more cake to fruit? You know, you can kind of play with this recipe. Um, so I'll go ahead and pour this in. And that's kind of the cool thing about this uh, recipe is I feel like, you know, everybody kind of has their dump cake recipe and everybody's is unique. And you can kind of take this and cater it the way you want. All right, so now we're gonna take the crushed pineapple. I don't drain the crushed pineapple because I think the juice gives it some good flavor and it also helps the cake mix uh, combine and, and cook. So I'm going to stir this up a little bit just to kind of make sure we have a good even mixture on, on the fruit filling here. All right, next we're gonna take the cake. And I usually use a butter cake or a yellow cake. And so for this, you're just gonna open it and you'll start sprinkling it over the top. You don't need to mix it in or anything, just kind of start evenly sprinkling it. And again, you know, depending on how much you want and what kind of ratio of cake to fruit you want. You can use all of it or some of it. So I'm going to even it out a little bit here. And then I guess I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the cake mix. So next we're going to take the one stick of butter, melted butter, and we're going to just drizzle it over the top here. There's no science to this, just kind of drizzle it over, trying to cover as much as you can. And so now is the time where if you wanted to, you could add some pecans, some coconuts, you know, anything you want to, to help kind of spice it up, give you some flavor, um, if you didn't want anything this basic. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on and get it in the oven. So we're going to put it in the oven for 45 minutes to start. Alexa, off. So after 45 minutes, it's not quite done. So we're going to throw it back in for another 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes is up, I actually went ahead and put it back in for another five minutes with the top off just to get it kind of firmed up and get it a nice brown, crunchy top. Looks good. So dump cake's always best when it's nice and warm, so I always like to eat it right out of the pot. I usually like to serve this with ice cream, however, due to all the uh, COVID-19 issues, uh, our store did not have any ice cream, so we're just gonna eat it like this today. Enjoy.